I was a flower peddler, walking the streets of London by the pale moonlight, in search of customers and prey. But the truth is, I was getting bored with the hunt, depressed about having to conceal myself. Then, one night, everything changed. I was walking through Hyde Park, trailing a scent, and then there was a bright flash. The next thing I knew, I was floating in a tank, watching strange, blue-skinned beings through the bubbling liquid. I thought I could see the moon through a window, but it was blue and green, and I realized that it was the Earth. I realized these were extraterrestrials. Men from Mars. Aliens, like in Mr. Orson Welles' novel. They had captured me, thinking me human. Too bad for them I hadn't been human in 4,207 years. They knew nothing about the proper precautions. No silver, no garlic, and no wooden stakes. I had soon broken free and slaughtered the vessel's crew. I tried to make the ship return to Earth, but I didn't know anything about their technology. And... As best I can tell, I told it to go home. As it returned to its mothership, I started to panic, and... Well, I tried to steer the ship manually. After I crashed it into the mothership, their security showed up. And tried to use their weapons on me. By then I was starving. So I bared my fangs and had a bite to drink. It was incredible. No human blood had ever tasted like this. For millennia, the only thing I had tasted that wasn't human's blood was cow's blood or pig's blood. I had forgotten that other tastes even existed, and this... This was nearly intoxicating. It's like how I imagined champagne. No, no, no. Better than champagne. Olympian ambrosia must taste. So yes, I had my fun with the ship's crew over the next several days gorging on them. It reminded me of this lovely Ridley Scott film I'd seen at the cinema. And once I got to the command center, or how was it called? The bridge, perhaps? I realized that all I had to do was wait. <laughs> the crew had been trying to get home. It's really a shame there was no one left on board to park the ship into orbit. But after all, one crash is much like another. It's good to be immune to your son. I was thrilled to learn the blue men were not the only alien race. And the others were just as delectable. Yes, little purple man, I am Terran, but not human. Any human can become as I am, and there are others like me on Terra. It's no real surprise that after 200 years, you, you have all become terrified of Terrans. You really must thank the surviving blue men. They gave me new purpose in life. They gave me direction. And yes, I have heard that my world kin have recently taken to the stars of their own accord. Your kind is pondering whether to go to war with them. All because of me. Realize this little one. All humans can become as I am. Vampire or human, we are all simply Terran.